Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 19, a Spanish legacy free play for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Hopefully you're as excited as I am. If you're following along from the get-go, you should only be 20 mini kits away and or less and 16 or less compass items. So, woohoo! We're going to go ahead and give you a quick uh, over overview of who we need. And we're going to go ahead and say you need everybody that you get from the story mode. And you need Blackbeard. So if you got those guys, you should be good to go. We'll have somebody to walk on the seafloor if we need it. You'll have somebody strong. You'll have somebody that throws things. You'll, ha you'll have it all. So uh, all to the yeah. Let's get going here. We only have uh, one level after this and then just the cleanup. So we are excited. We're going to smash about all the way around in here and grab any of the studs, even though we have absolutely no need for them at this point. And you can see we had all the characters, and we've got pretty much all the other items. We have a few red hats we need to get, but that's just chump change. <laughs> so back in the back left-hand corner, you can see that there is a silver uh, floor covering. We're going to throw a bomb at it. You can use Marty or multiple characters. Now, this is a nightmare. I did a horrible edit here, and it's not smooth or nothing, because I died a gajillion times. A gajillion. Seriously. That many. It was ridiculous. So part of the reason was m just the jumping and the time. The other part was he kept walking. The other character kept jumping in front of me and standing there. And when I would try to advance, he would push me off. So I finally just got really upset. And I made it all the way across. And, and it literally took me like 20 jumps. Get all the way across. There is a mini kit, so it's worth your time. Then this is what I figured out on the way back. Best way to do it is to make your way out. When he jumps in front of you, switch to him. Then the idiot will jump in front of you again, and you can switch again, and that's the easiest way. See, if I would have figured that out, oh, man. Hopefully, you didn't try and try and try and get over there before you heard that. Hopefully, you've heard the info before you tried to get over there, because that's really easy. Once he gets in front of you, just switch to him and just keep on moving along. Hopefully, you were smarter than me, and you figured it out on your own without my tip. Now, we're just back in the main room here. We're going to push these puzzle pieces in and get them right into place, and then it'll drop some bl blocks for us. I almost called them blicks little combination of bricks and blocks. Bricks. Blicks. I couldn't even say it right. Blicks. There's another one of my famous words that I make up during the Lego series. But once you get up top, you're going to go ahead and pull out your compass. Right along the left-hand side wall is an item you most likely found, well, you had to find in the story mode. But we're going to grab it and show it to you here. And then in the back corner right behind it is another item that you needed for the story mode. So there's the barrel. We're going to roll it, roll it, roll it. On over to the uh, little spot. Drop the piano. And we're going to get our Stevie Wonder on here in a second. And if you don't know who Stevie Wonder is, you are extremely young. You should go Google it um, and figure some stuff out. Stevie's awesome. Oh, yeah. And, okay, so we obviously need to complete the checkerboard here in order to Stevie Wonder it up. So we got to push the piano all the way to the end. Make, make sure you complete the checkerboard. And then press the action button indicated, and you'll go ahead and play a little tune. Alright, mini kit two in the bag. So mini kit three is gonna be in the same room. So before advancing, make sure you uh, slap that lazy skeleton around. Lazy bones. Kind of tricky to get to. When when you jump on the bed, obviously you saw me jumping, it's like ba boing, ba boing, ba boing. And uh, best way to do it is just find a spot, a little sweet spot around the sides, and uh, you know, smack them around a wee bit. All right, now we're over on the left-hand side. That compass item that popped up is just us refinding the heart, harp, the heart. Um, now it's a little tricky getting up here sometimes. There is a way in the back that you can actually climb a ladder and then climb all the way out. So it's kind of a, a shortcut to jump up on the harp and climb across. But if you have problems, you can see all the way in the back there. It does lead all the way back. So once you press the harp into place, uh, you will have the option to smash the chest in the middle. And then once you pick that up and put it in there on the thing and build it, that's when you switch scenes. So make sure you play the piano and everything else before you pull out this compass, which is a little weird to me. I you get some blocks bouncing around in a bedroom, and then all of a sudden you pull out a compass, and you're, like, looking at the bed. I mean, am I wrong? Is this dude looking at the bed? I mean, are these, like, little bed bugs or something? That'd be a little scary, huh? Turns out we weren't, like, real-sized Legos at all. We were just looking down at these little ants. I don't know. That'd be weird. All right, so once you follow the guy all the way to his camp scene, it'll advance into the next area. I made a wee boo-boo over here and didn't pull out my compass first, but the compass item, as you can see, that is now checked is the schmegma. 
the green and yellow little area where you can use old bootstrap to slide through. We'll do that now because it rewards you very plentiful. Something fierce. Mini kit number four. We'll go ahead and uh, go right back through. And once we get to the back to the other side, we'll pull out our compass. But it doesn't do us any good. So we're going to just head over to the double jump on the far right side instead. And then there's just like a pathway we got to follow along. So we'll jump up. It'll pull down this little walkway. Yeah, one of these days. Right? All right. Make sure you go through your toggle. Although it didn't help me, I had to start all over. And it took me all the way actually to this level. Once I completed this level uh, with the extra toggle turned on, it, it worked. But I literally had to play all 19 levels. And, and, you, and in order to get it, all you had to do was play it, toggle through, hit start, save and quit, and then move to the next level. Repeat that process and you'll get it. All right. So once you make your way all the way to the top of the path, there is a zip line. Jump on and slide all the way down to mini kit number five, as you just saw us grabbing the air there. Now, this was a little tricky here. Uh, our guide at the time, which has been revised, said to go left, so I'm like all confused. When really, it is left, but you had to advance up the path a little bit before. So, uh, Doug did a great job on the guide, but uh, yeah, I needed to add a little bit extra there for you guys. And oh, you guys probably found it fine. You know me. I, I'm the one that needs it, like, drawn. I need a picture drawn and, like, you know, somebody holding my hand, taking me. That's just how I roll. All right, so here we are. We're inside. We're going to play a little joke on the old townsman here. Ding, ding, ding. Come and get it. Ha-ha. Fooled you. That's right. And inside here, we got compass items four and five. The first one is, like, all the blocks jumping around there. And we're going to build those up to make all, like, the dinnerware. And the second one is the giant turkey or chicken, whichever it is. Now, a little, little word to the wise. Don't overcook it. <laughs> You'll have to do it again. And we'll show you that here in a second. But once you get everything built and you're all ready to go, obviously you need to spin that turkey around and cook it. But before we do it, we're going to use Blackbeard's special power to go ahead and open up this back area and slide on in and steal that mini kit. That's ours for the taking. Ours. You get that? Did you catch that? It's ours for the taking. I don't know how you couldn't get it now that I've repeated it 75 times. All right, so there's a buddy up there that's sleeping. You know what? As much as we'd like to take him out, we'll just go ahead and let him rest. We'll just move along here. So there's obviously a mini kit finder icon flashing out on the far right. We're not quite ready for that. That's actually something we double back on here in a second. And look at that. You char broil it if you spin the wind too much. But luckily for us, another one replenishes. And we'll go ahead and slap it on there. And this time we'll spin it once. And then we'll go jump on the... Okay, so I take that back. We'll spin it until it's done. And then we'll go put it on the table. And dinner is served. We'll go ahead and jump up now. This time the joke's uh, not on them. And they come in. Ring-a-ding-ding-ding-dong. All right. So when they're eating, sneak right on behind them. There's a couple studs to be had on the way out, of course. Me, I don't need them. I have 451 million here. We're going to use our compass, and it's going to take us to nothing right now. It's going to take us to the door. So uh, here in a second, we're going to, right around the corner, there's a uh, an orange handle right past this cannon. We're going to switch to a strong character before blast and open. You can get to it once you blast the door open, too. And I had a hard time. I don't know why every once in a while I run into an icon issue where it shows me the icon, and by the time I push it, it's gone. And once you pull it, it'll actually drop some planks, and you can cross. And first things first, you can see there's a mini kit uh, finder icon flashing right there. And clearly, we need to take out all those flowers, but we'll get to those in a second. There's a giant palm over here. We're going to climb that and reap our reward to the top with a mini kit and a poiple stud. Now, okay, this gets tricky. This could get really frustrating. My best advice is to choose a character with bombs. That's right. Bomb, 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 bomb. Now, you can see here, the whole goal is to take them all out at once. It's tricky. I start on the far left side, and as you can see, I target, and it took me probably 10 or 15 tries. I'm not even going to lie. I added all those out so we wouldn't have to waste our, your or my time. But, uh, well, plus it's embarrassing. I'm already a noob, and as it is, I don't need to document more proof of it. But once you, uh, you'll get a rhythm with the bombs, and you just kind of throw them, spam the button as fast as possible, and, and you will get it eventually. That's one of the more frustrating ones in the game, probably. 
but really there's only one or two frustrating ones, so I won't complain too much. And some of you is probably going to go, oh, I did it my first try, because that's just how it works for some of you. Luck of the draw. And uh, hopefully it works out for you more often than that. More often than not like that. There we go. It's tricky. All right. So here we are. You're familiar with this area. We've done busted down the door with the cannon. We tried to shoot some guys, which I should have ignored that and just left that alone. But I, my aim was horrible. You're going to use the compass up the top of the hill. And it's going to take you all the way around, down and around, eastbound and down. Eventually, it'll lead you to the final point, which is where we already were. Deja vu, anyone? All right, so despite it saying seven down in the corner, we only have six, as you can see noted in the bottom left corner. We'll dig that up. We are going to move that all the way around and start stacking up. There's three boxes here. You know where they all are. There's one we just dug up with our compass. One is behind these bushes over here. Cha, 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 cha. Cha, 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 come on, cha. We'll go ahead and grab that one of these days. You got to bust open all those. I don't know why it wouldn't let me break those, uh, but okay. So now we got two of them. Third one's right there. But before crossing the bridge, we're actually going to head on over to the right side of this area. And you probably remember the silver palm leaves blocking the rocks over here. We're going to shoot those and destroy them. This can be a little tricky, too, with the jumps. Um, you can try throwing the bombs all the way from the beginning, but yeah, and watch out for your buddy. He, I'm blaming that totally on him because he bumped me in, and I had nowhere to like move forward and jump. Like I could have jumped, but I would have jumped straight up. So, anyways, enough of me yelling about the AI. We'll move all the way up and around, and eventually it leads you on this cliffside to a minikit, which is just hiding back there. Tons of studs too. Look at this, almost 700 million. And we're not even trying, really. I mean, we've left a lot of rocks behind. I mean, there's some studs we left. And more. Oh, we Take a little dip real quick. Because when I dip, you dip, we dip. All right. There, oh, I was going to say, there's some more studs we left behind. But no, nope, all right, I'm stud whoring it up. So, Oh, there's some. So, yeah, in the end, we probably could have seen a billion studs. And we're not even to the end yet. So there is some more items ahead crossing this bridge. But then that will wrap it up for this level. Nice kind of short and sweet level to finish it up. As soon as you switch into this new area, you're going to switch to Jack. And there's a mini kit down in the bottom right-hand corner. What's up, D2289, a.k.a. Daniel? What's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Shoot, I think Borderlands was the last time we played. That's a long time ago. Borderlands 2? That was a long time ago, man. We should get some games in. All right, so mini kit in the bag. We got all ten now. Last item is an item you already had. See, I was making it all like suspect and mysterious for you but no turns out you already had the little gold glass or chalice whichever it's a pimp cup that's what it is and uh, you know I'll be honest with you I'm sitting here waiting for buddy to throw it at me and then I have this revolution here revolution revelation well I'm having a revolution and uh, realize that you can throw your own bombs you got your own bomb 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 bombs so use them don't have to wait for a buddy to throw them <laughs> look at look they're bouncing me around Wee! actually I was jumping it looked like they were smacking me and I was bouncing. But yeah, you know the drill. Pull it down. Then you got the two seats you got to lay on there. And once you get the two seats, you can go ahead and boy out of here. And you know what the good news is? We don't even have to kill the pirate lord here. We can actually mash out without him. Ready? Yep. Wee! <laughs> See, we didn't even kill him. Oh, to the yeah. Look at that. Ten billion coming up on. That is redonkulous. All right. All eight compass points provided by yours truly along with all 10 mini kits that'll build the second to last ship or it should be if you've been following along and uh, look at that we're getting really close on the gold bricks too as of this recording I actually have it platinumed but that's a whole different story we want to pretend like I didn't just say that and move right along so hey if you have any feedback any questions comments or suggestions head on over to Facebook Twitter or simply comment vote subscribe down below we have uh, that nice red subscribe button that we would love for you to push if you haven't already because we got lots of more stuff coming ahead for you. Uh, not only are we going to finish up this series and uh, move along to the next one, but we got contests, we got product reviews. We want your feedback. Who knows? We might be putting out a call here soon wanting some help from y'all. And how are you going to know that we want help if you ain't on any of our social networks? So get on over there. Hopefully you found this video entertaining. Hopefully you found this series very helpful. And uh, yeah. Until level 20, which is next time, by the way.
see ya.